Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex and coming back at you today with another video. It's been some time now since I last posted. Uh, just been quite busy with other ventures. Nevertheless, I thought I would do something today that I haven't done probably since 2011, 2012. Um, very early um, in the kind of beginnings of this channel. Um, and that is very simply to show you my current system. So I'm going to show you my hi-fi system and what I'm working with in terms of components, upgrades, also kind of where I store my vinyl and what have you. Um, but as a disclaimer, this is by no means an audiophile uh, video. This isn't a system that costs thousands and thousands of pounds. Uh, this is very much a system that you would expect somebody who has a kind of peripheral interest in collecting vinyl and listening to, to high quality music uh, would have. Uh, it's not a system that I have invested very heavily in as of now. Uh, that's not, not to say I won't do, do so in the future. Um, but I thought it may be of interest to some people out there who maybe are thinking about getting into collecting vinyl or even just thinking about investing in a uh, startup system for um, yeah, kind of a startup hi-fi system. Uh, this could be of interest to some of some of those people. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. All right then, so starting off with where I store my vinyl. So this will look very familiar to most of you. This is uh, probably the most popular shelving unit that's um, purchased for storing vinyl. And that is the IKEA Kallax uh, shelving cube units. Uh, this is just a two by two, uh, and this pretty much fits my entire collection uh, for the time being. I'm getting pretty close to running out of space now. You can see I've just got a book or two uh, in the bottom right cube, uh, but I've also got a massive stack that I'm yet to uh, to catalog and, and file away um, to the right there. So yes, I, I'm almost certainly gonna be needing more storage shortly, uh, but this for the time being is where I keep my collection. So I think in total, I, 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 I keep my, uh, my collection catalogued on Discogs and I think I'm up to about 240 to 250 records in total um, at the moment. And uh, yes, I know that's not a very big collection, but it's also, uh, it also takes up a fair amount of space. Even just 250 records takes up a, a fair amount of, uh, room space as you can see um, but yes I, I think I would definitely recommend the Kallax from Ikea uh, just a very cheap and easy way of storing vinyl uh, I think you can get it in a, a number of colors as well I just went for the white because uh, I quite like the uh, the white finish um, but yeah works well and uh, also is a uh, I also use the top of the unit for my amplifier and turntable so uh, yeah, it's kind of dual purpose in that sense, um, but definitely getting to the stage now where, I'm th where I need to be thinking about getting maybe a four by four um, of this same unit, or at least, you know, another one of these to, uh, to see me through the next few years. But yeah, this is, uh, this is the IKEA Kallax, and this is where I store my collection. Right then, so next we have the centerpiece of the system, and, uh, one of my prized possessions, I would say, this is my turntable. And this is the Project Debut 3 turntable in matte black. Um, I don't know whether they still sell these. I think the equivalent model uh, in today's times is the Project Debut Carbon, I believe. Uh, but this is the Debut 3. And I remember getting this on Christmas Day 2011. So I've had it almost a decade now. And yeah, it has the dust cover that comes down, obviously, with the project logo there on top. And I can't say enough about this turntable. It's served me incredibly well for obviously a number of years now. Uh, sounds very good. I've had a couple of upgrades done to this, um, but nothing overly expensive, uh, just a couple of cheap upgrades. Um, but pretty much this is as it was uh, 10 years ago and uh, no faults, uh, hasn't broken down on me. And 
sounds really, really good. So uh, yeah, this is the debut three by project. So the first upgrade is a very simple one and that is just the turntable mat. Um, when you buy the turntable, it comes with a felt mat, uh, which I used for, you know, again, close to 10 years. I only upgraded this a few weeks ago, um, but finally decided to bite the bullet and get the uh, cork um, turntable mat, which I think is a good upgrade. I mean, I definitely have noticed less static when listening to records and slightly less kind of dust accumulation on the record as well. I don't know if that's just a placebo effect, um, but I know the mat can make some difference to uh, to the sound of the uh, sound of the record. So yeah, if you have a uh, project turntable, then this is a very sensible upgrade in my opinion. You can pick up one of these for about twenty pounds on Amazon um, by Project, and. Uh, yeah, it makes the record sound slightly better, even if it's uh, not that significant. I would definitely, uh, definitely suggest you get one of these. The second upgrade that I've made to this turntable is the cartridge. The original cartridge on this turntable was the Audifon, I think it was a 5M2E or something similar to that. Um, and it was a good sounding cartridge, but I, I did some research and um, quickly realized that for not very much money I could get a slightly better cartridge um, installed on the turntable. Um, so I went ahead and did it and this is the Audifon 2M Red cartridge um, which many people in the vinyl community I'm sure either have or are very aware of. This is I guess you could still say a budget cartridge um, Bordafon do a, a 2M bronze and I think a 2M black as well, which are uh, pr more premium models uh, than the 2M red. But the 2M red is about £90, I believe, um, and I had this fitted by a local uh, a local audiophile shop, a uh, hi-fi shop, should I say, and uh, Sounds really good. Uh, I've definitely noticed a slight boost in the the bass on my records, um, and just the overall sound is is slightly crisper, slightly more uh, well rounded, um, and yeah, just a, a really again a really good upgrade. I'm really glad that I did it. Um, so this is the Audifon 2M Red uh, stylus and cartridge, and uh, yeah. This is, uh, again, something that is very easy to do if you have a similar turntable to this. Uh, something that I would I would consider doing if you have uh, just the, the 5M2E or, or something slightly inferior, then a cartridge upgrade is, is a good idea because at the end of the day, the stylus is the only thing actually making contact with the record. So it's uh, a vitally important part of the, the overall system. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad I made this upgrade for sure. So you've obviously got the tone arm on here and the uh, counterweight on the end, which I've got set at uh, about 17 grams of tracking force. And uh, yeah, that's about what's recommended for the 2M, uh, 2M Red. And obviously got my anti-skate weight on there as well, uh, which I actually had to blue tack back on um, but it still seems to be hanging hanging quite nicely. So yes, that is my my turntable. So I'm sure there's some astute people out there that have realized um, a kind of cardinal sin within the uh, audiophile community, and that is um, not properly isolating the turntable from other components or other um, heavy objects. Uh, and I've definitely in the in the effort to save space i've definitely compromised on that front you can see that i've got my amplifier uh sorry my turntable on top of my amplifier which um let me know down in the comments if that's cause if that's likely to be causing any significant um <laughs> disruptions or degradation to the sound um i have heard that added vibrations through um any other surface that the the, the turntable sitting on can cause um agitation to the way that the record plays back but 
I'm not sure, you know, I'd, I'd like to know. At the moment, I don't really have the space to have them separate, but I would eventually like to isolate the turntable from the amplifier. But anyway, I will now show you my amplifier, which you can see here. This is the Cambridge Audio I A5 integrated amplifier. Um, again, pretty basic. Uh, you can probably pick one of these up now for less than 50 pounds. Um, but I did inherit this from my dad, so uh, I'm not entirely sure about its, its value. Um, but again, it, it's a nice sounding amplifier, does the job. Uh, in terms of dials, it's pretty simple. You've got power, bass, treble, um, direct, volume, balance, and obviously the input that you want to select uh, there. So yeah, this is the A5 by Cambridge Audio. It does the job nicely, um, but again, this is a, a part of the system that in time, uh, if I start collecting more regularly again, then this is probably the first thing that I'll look to upgrade uh, next. But uh, for the time being, works well for me. So this is, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is the amplifier in my system. I should also, of course, mention that I have a uh, phono preamp plugged into my amplifier in order to, uh, which is required in order to play back records. Uh, through this system. So this is the Project Phonobox MM. Um, so yeah, again, not in any way an expensive preamp. I think this cost me less than £100. But again, does the job and it allows me to uh, it allows me to play records at the end of the day. So an essential part of, um, of, of the system. I know there are some turntables that um, have a preamp built in. Um, but unfortunately the project AB3 is not one of them so I had to buy this on top of it but yeah this is a this is a simple yet crucial part of the system. Next we have my speakers um, and I have to say I don't know very much about these uh, these are also an inherited item from my dad um, and he can barely remember where he got them from so uh, that's pretty useless but um, they're floor standing speakers. They sound really good to my ears. Uh, the bass sounds good. The, the high ends and the treble sounds, sounds decent on these. Um, I've never had any reason to get rid of them or sell them. Um, but yeah, I'd really appreciate it. If anybody's seen these speakers before uh, or knows anything about them, um, please let me know down in the comment section because I have next to no knowledge on these. And uh, I'd really like to know what company made them and uh, kind of what quality they, quality they actually are. I mean, they sound good to me, but I don't really have many points of reference when it comes to um, audio file quality sound. So uh, yeah, for the time being, I'm gonna stick with these. They, uh, they deliver the, the sound that I'm looking for, but um, just very little in the way of knowledge on them. So yeah. If you know anything, please let me know. All right, so tucked away in the corner, I've also got this Bass Box 5. Uh, this is the Vibe by the looks of it. And this is uh, just a standard subwoofer. I think it was designed originally for, for gamers, um, but it works well as a kind of extra in my system. It's not needed. It's not a, an essential, crucial component by any means, but it does boost the bass. And I think it makes the, the the whole system sound that much better, just that tiny bit better. So um, I've left it in. So yeah, this is, uh, again, don't know much about the company that make this, but uh, this is just a pretty bog standard sub. Okay, so last but not least, a um, few little extras that you might wanna consider buying um, if you're just getting into collecting. The first is a anti-static record cleaning brush. Uh, this is one by Project, but there are several companies that do these. Um, for me, this is an essential item because you want to get the grit and the dust off your record before playing it, um, especially if you're not cleaning the record. Um, I currently have no proper cleaning device uh, for my records. It's something I'm looking at getting eventually. Um, but these are very cheap and they're definitely worth it because it will just get that surface dirt off the record so definitely pick up a uh, cleaning brush if you can second of all we've got a 
just a stand for propping up the, the sleeve while you're listening to it. It's just quite a nice thing to have the record playing and the cover propped up. Um, for instance, this uh, Sadie album, Diamond Life, um, just looks quite nice next to the uh, next to the turntable having the cover displayed nicely. And um, this isn't really music related, but I've got also got a house plant, which I think makes the, the whole space look a bit greener, a bit nicer. All right, so that concludes my system tour for um, my current setup in 2021. I know that it's um, pretty basic, but as I said at the beginning, hopefully this will be of, of interest to some people out there who are are looking to to get into record collecting um, it's something that I've loved doing for you know over over 10 years now um, on and off I definitely had a period uh, kind of two or three years ago where I pretty much stopped stopped buying records completely and only in the last couple of months have I started to uh, started to buy them again and uh, also started listening to a lot more vinyl as well which has been been a lot of fun I have to say so yeah this is uh, my current setup and please let me know in the comments if there's any upgrades or any changes I can make um, fairly cost effectively uh, that will vastly improve or, or even slightly improve the, uh, the experience um, of listening to, to records because it's, it's something that I really enjoy doing and um, certainly something I'm looking to invest in going forward. So. Yeah, that is my, uh, my current system. So thank you for watching this video. I will hopefully be back shortly with a vinyl update for you. Um, I'm also thinking about heading down to my record store on Saturday for Record Store Day. Uh, I know they're doing it in two drops this year, um, but Record Store Day is something I haven't done, I haven't participated in for a few years now. So it will be good fun to get down and support, um, to support my, my local store. Um, but yeah, look forward to seeing what everybody picks up and I hope everybody is staying safe, staying well and I will see you next time. Thanks guys.